What's growing on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I need to have a very frank discussion with you all because I think many of you are missing out on a huge opportunity. On my main channel, The Millennial Gardener, I posted a poll question for you all to answer. What is your favorite of the four seasons? Over 6,000 of you voted and half of you said it was fall. That's right, as many of you preferred fall as your favorite season as all other seasons combined. Despite the fact that fall is overwhelmingly your favorite season by the numbers, many of you are not participating or not participating fully in the fall gardening season. And I think I understand why. I think what happens to a lot of gardeners is over the winter we develop cabin fever and we get so depressed from the short, cold, dreary days that when spring rolls around and the world starts coming to life again, we can't help but rush outside and start gardening because it brings us back to life with the plants. But then the season starts dragging on and the summer starts getting hot and the heat beats on us and it grates on us and it just kind of wears us down and we start to lose our passion. Passion. So by the time the midsummer to late summer gardening season rolls around and we start prepping for our fall gardens, a lot of us are just exhausted. We don't have the passion remaining in the reservoir and we just don't want to do it anymore. But then what happens? The summer ends, it starts cooling off, we want to be outside all the time again, and we didn't start our fall garden, and now it's too late. And for that reason, we are kicking ourselves. I urge you, no, I beg you, don't let that be you this year. Fall gardening season is the best gardening season of the entire year. The weather cools down, the humidity goes away, but because of atmospheric cooling, the temperatures and the weather itself tend to be more stable. There is the least amount of severe weather, there's the least amount of wind. It is just a great time to be outside and enjoy life. And if you start planning for it right now, you can participate in the best gardening season of the year. So what I wanna do in this video is to motivate you to start your fall garden. You have to get outside right now in the heat of the summer and start direct sowing things. You need to go inside and start your transplants right now. That way you can get them out into the garden in four to six weeks in September when the weather starts cooling down. In order to be a successful fall gardener, you have to start when it's really hot outside. You just have to brave that heat. But I promise you, if you do it, you will not regret it. In fact, you will be thrilled that you put in that additional effort. Now, if you're new to fall gardening and you don't know what to grow and when to start, I'll make sure to link to a video down in the video description that I just made on my main channel, The Millennial Gardener, that features over two dozen different fall crops that you can start right now in August. They're easy to grow and relatively low maintenance. And if you are an experienced gardener, but you haven't mustered the energy to go out and brave the heat just yet, let this video kickstart you and give you the jump that you need. If it's hot, put on a baseball cap. If it's raining, grab an umbrella and just go out out there and get to work. So I just wanted to take this time to motivate you and keep that passion growing. Life is short, we only get so many seasons in our lives to enjoy, and I wanna make sure that as many of you as possible enjoy the most glorious time of the year. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications. And check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.